I kind of feel that America is my wife and China is my mother and now they don't get along and both have nuclear weapons and I'm trying to make both people laugh you know this is this is terrible Joe Wong is one of the few stand-up comedians who regularly performs to crowds in the U.S. and China. He immigrated to the U.S. from China in the 90s and started doing stand-up in Boston, Massachusetts after getting a Ph.D. in biochemistry. Few people knew about Joe Wong until he was invited to roast another, more famous man named Joe in 2010, Vice President Joe Biden. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Joe Wong. I'm honored to uh, meet uh, Vice President Joe Biden here tonight. Um, I actually read your autobiography, and today I see you. I think the book is much better. <laughs> now, Joe lives in Beijing and hosts his own hit TV show in China, while touring the country performing stand-up. It's probably a good time for immigrant comedians, bad time for immigrants. So. I am actually an American immigrant. And they say that uh, America is a country of immigrants. So uh, I have to ask you guys, please leave my country. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> we have a zero tolerance policy right now. And there was a couple of other jokes that was cut out. One joke was, uh, you know, a lot of people blame Trump for taking immigrant kids from their parents. But to be fair, he also takes white kids from their parents through the help of NRA. You know, I just told this joke, the audience gasped in the beginning. They were like, <gasps> and then gradually they started to laugh and applaud. So it might be a little bit too controversial for that joke to, to get aired, or maybe it's just, just time, you know, they, they cut that joke out. But it was, I, I still think it kind of summarizes my my opinion of Trump on his treatment of kids, basically. <laughs> Immigrant kids or kids from poor backgrounds, he's cutting benefit for those kids, and he doesn't even care about white kids because of the of gun violence on school campuses. I would say bad things about Trump in America, and nobody will say anything. They're like, ah, ha, 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 that's funny. But if I, I post something in China, there were, there were a lot of Chinese actually defending Trump. They were like, oh, He's a democratically elected president of the United States. How can I make fun of him? I'm like, Jesus, Hitler was elect democratically elected too. You know? Just because he's elected doesn't mean he doesn't do bad things. When I was doing stand-up in the US, I deliberately stayed away from topics about race and ethnicity. But looking back, maybe it's better to make more of those jokes because later on I realized that uh, people don't know Asian Americans that well. And a lot of people don't quite even know what Asian stereotypes are, you know. So it's probably good to talk about it more to have people know us first. Especially with uh, my style of comedy, a lot of times you have to think a little bit about the jokes before you laugh. And that is not something that's popular in China. But you know, people are, are changing. Every comedian's dream is to have his own show. You know, it's kind of my American dream. And in this sense, China helped me to achieve my American dream here. You know? Although he's best known in the U.S. for a stand-up, Joe is famous in China for hosting a myth-busting show called Is It True? which answers burning questions like Can you eat pomegranate seeds? and Do owls have long legs? <laughs> there are so much internet rumors in China that uh, it just warrants a show that kind of clarifies it. For a while, I was kind of almost depressed. I just feel that whatever I've gone through it was understood by so few people, because there are very few people who 
did stand-up comedy in America and then do it again in China. I, I came to China, I was like, oh, this is a bad decision, you know, why do I put myself through this? Uh, now I feel the, see the value of uh, going between the US and China now, just because there's so little real communication and I think comedians are the best people to introduce one culture to another. And also I hope that uh, more Chinese people can come to the US. So that way uh, at least makes my comedy in China easier. <laughs> they kind of know, know how uh, American style of humor works.